Hello, it's Ashley here and oh it's a bit later than I wanted to be today but never mind. I've come on today with um, issue 239 of Simply Cards and Paper Crafts. I don't very often do flick throughs of magazines, I don't get very many and I am on a um, low buy frugal year but this has been sent to me. Um, it's got card maker of the year 2023 information do you think you might enter go on give it a go so the freebies in this are a lovely pink fresh studio uh, collection i think this is pink fresh studio as well i'm not sure um this definitely is we've got a lovely butterfly die and a lovely butterfly stamp i'm thinking stained glass there i've got an idea of uh, something i might want to do with that <clears throat> a little bit outside the box I'm loving this stamp set here with all of these gorgeous background stamps. You've got little splodges and little doodles. That's really sweet, isn't it? So I think we'll have a little play with those. Got some nice sentiments. Happy birthday. Embrace the moment. Enjoy the moment. You can do it. Best mum ever. Because, of course, I mean, we've got Valentine's Day coming up, haven't we? And my word, did you see, I think it was the day after Boxing Day, Easter stuff in the shops already. Um, yeah, but we've got Mother's Day on the horizon, haven't we, in the next few months. I'm loving this. Um, yeah, I'm thinking of something that I could do with that, actually. Mm. So, we're going to use some bits and pieces. Let's just have a little flick through. So, I think this is going to be quite a long video. I might pause you, I might speed up, we'll see. But I have got a brew, got a cup of tea, black or grey. You pause the video, go and get yourself whatever you want. Um, okay, have you done that? Are you back? Brilliant, let's have a little look. This is lovely. We test the brand new Sizzix stencil and stamp tool. Now I've heard about that, I'm not going to buy it. But I have bought last year the sticky grid that goes with it. And that is very good in your stamping platform. Um, it's just extra protection against your magnets uh, moving. And um, the card just stay put. So, oh look, Chloe's creative cards. I've got a commission for her coming up. I've got this. It's lovely. Um, information about the card maker of the year. Let's have a little look and see. This is nice. That's the editor's favourite I think. Uh, so the editor is Becky Higgins, she's lovely. And a little flick through very quickly. Um, this is nice, I, I like that kind of thing. So you can win a sentimentally yours bundle. Yes, I like the little bird. Is it a bird or is it? Uh, see me see that looks like a bird on there but I don't think it is. <laughs> um, some makes I'm not going to flick all the way through this because you um want to buy it yourselves perhaps and have a look so there's the thing about the Sizzix stencil and stamp tool i think the thing is that there's a lot of layering stencils out there now aren't there and um lining them up can be a bit difficult just had to take my scarf off i've got very hot all of a sudden um Yes, but this highlights the layering stencils, which are kind of like on trend at the moment, aren't they? If you've got any layering stencils, uh, comment down below. But look, £21,000 worth of prizes to be won. All of this. Um, Card Work of the Year 2023 is back with a bang. Enter today via Craft World for your chance to win a humongous prize haul and a spot on our design team. So, of course, you know I won in 2021. Um, our lovely Monica Rekluska that we all know and love won, was one of the winners last year. You get a year subscription to our magazines. I don't think we got that. I think we got maybe six months. But some of these prizes are amazing. Quirky bird designs. I've not heard of them. But you get Hunky Dory. Loads and loads of stuff. Stamps by me. Oh, excellent. Lots and lots of prizes there to be won. And then these are two of the people that won last year. I love that Lavinia one. And that's very much Lavinia as well, isn't it? Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. And then, um, yes, I just did want to show you. 
Um, there's lots of ideas for how to use your free gift and obviously I've been wittering on for ages but I just wanted to show you uh, Jessica paper ink stamp um, has got a feature in here six cards six shaker cards so it looks like she's used the um, floral elements from here is that that I don't know no I don't think it is actually um, but just a tutorial on how to create shaker cards, which I always struggle with. So those are rather lovely, aren't they? With lovely bright yellow sequins there. So I think that is enough of that. I'm not even gonna look through anymore because you need to go and buy it yourselves. But first things first, I'm gonna do what they call an off the page project. And um, I'm going to use the stamp and the die in here now i do find it difficult to get these out sometimes because the adhesive that they use to stick the die and stamp down onto the backing card gets stuck to the polythene of the uh, little bag that they put it in maybe they'll start to think about how they can package these a little bit more environmentally friendly but what I've got, let's just move some things out of the way to make some room. It's going to be very difficult to see, so I'm going to use this silicon sheet. I've got a piece of clear shrink plastic. And we're going to have a go at either making a pair of earrings or a pendant. I don't know how much this is going to shrink down by, but to colour our card, we're going to use alcohol ink in a variety of colours. And I've got... Um, some alcohol blending solution so I think I quite like the aqua the some of these alcohol inks are so old can you see how they've leaked down the bottle um yeah and what's that one is that denim sailboat blue yeah I think we'll go for aqua sailboat blue and then I want a little bit of um silver I think I've got the alloy, if I can find it. Uh, that's gilded. That's statue. Statue is kind of like gold. You have to shake these. Oh, I don't want statue. It's foundry, I think, that I want. I don't know how I can... Um, do these so that I can see the colours. If anybody's got any hints or tips on that, that would be most useful. I'm going to be here forever. I've got mix of tips. Ah, oh, there we go. This is what I want. This is silver, so that will do. And um, actually, I'm going to leave that on there. This has got some dark denim on here, so it's a this colour here, I think. A little felt pad on a blending tool um, because I don't want a lot of this so I'm just going to give this a really good shake you need to shake it so that you hear the little ball bearing so that should be enough and what I'm going to do oh, I'm going to put a little bit of Right, what I'm going to do, because I don't want to waste this, I think I'm going to, yeah, I'm going to cut this in half. So it's about 20 centimetres. I don't want to colour all of this. So I want it about there. Being frugal, you see, this is my thing this year, being frugal. So... I should get two butterflies out of there. Perfect. Right. Okay. So I'm going to just put a little bit of blending solution on here to start with. And then this is going to help the alcohol ink flow. Have you got alcohol inks? Do you like playing with them? I want a bit more of this. Okay, and then I think we're going to go in and just pounce. Now you can't really see the alcohol 
um, the aqua colour. It's very, very pale. So I think I'm going to go in with a little bit more. Now the thing with colour and using shrink plastic, it will go a bit darker um, when you heat it. Oh, now you see, I quite like that circle effect on there. If I just bring it a piece of white, you might see it better. So it's quite nice, isn't it? Let's go in again now with a bit of the sailboat blue. I've got a little bit of pink on there from something else, but you know, it doesn't really matter. And then if you drop in a little bit of that, it should spread the colour further. That's quite nice. It might not stay like that, but we'll see. Now, this is where I want a little bit of this foundry. So I'm literally going to put one drop on this blending tool she says putting three <laughs> this has a tendency to overtake okay let's have a look now so we've got a little bit of silver there. If I turn it over that way, it does look like stained glass, doesn't it? Which is what I was kind of thinking I wanted to achieve. And what will happen if I drop a drop on rather than pounce it on? Let's have a little look and see. Okay, so I've got a circle of it there and it's spread out. Let's make that spread out a bit more with some of the blending solution and it's kind of pushing it away what happens if I tilt oh that's quite nice so I'm getting like a veining effect let's do a little bit down here put the lid on it looks like I've got a little bubble there we go let's disperse that color a little bit i have got one of those um tim holtz air things little bladder thing that you pump but i haven't got it to hand so we're just going to let that drip down there we go now do we think we need a little bit of something else maybe a little bit of plum i don't know because i've got a quite a lot of empty space here or maybe we'll just go back in with a bit more of this sailboat blue it's nice how it's pushing that um mixative away let's put another little dollop of the silver in I'm going to leave that like that <clears throat> okay so I need to stamp on this now and I think I'm going to use my stamp platform and I'm going to use my jet black stays on ink so I'm just going to go and get that bear with so I've just had a slurp of tea and I've put my butterfly stamp over an area of the um, shrink plastic. What I've done is I've put it alcohol ink side down. And I've got my jet black stays on. And I'm going to be try and be quite frugal with what I've inked as well. Because I might get something else out of it. Now, um, yeah. Oh, it would help if I took that off, wouldn't it? <laughs> Sometimes these stamps that come free with the magazines, um, you have to prime them a little bit because they're made out of silicon rather than photopolymer. 
but we'll see how we get on. Wish me luck, because you'll be me goodbye. <coughs> so hopefully I'll get a nice crisp um, impression. And then what I thought actually was once I've stamped both of these and die cut them I can always add a little bit of extra colour if I feel I need it so there's the first one done and um, just making sure that's stuck down I think we'll go here and then that means Actually, I'll go, go down just a little bit more. That means I can trim there and get that in my die cutting machine. And I've got a nice strip here that I can use for something else. Okay. Ah, oh, you see how that has moved now. It's a good job. I've got a bit extra. Right, I'm going to play here because this actually has moved. And I'm going to try and line that up there as best that I can. This is going to be heat set or heat shrunk, I should say. Um, so hopefully it will be okay. It won't be too um, blurry. If it is doesn't matter it's just an experiment isn't it I'm trying to show you how to do something a bit different with the um, cover mount gift rather than just make a card we are going to go on and make a card but I thought we'd start with the difficult bit <laughs> right here we go oh it has moved oh what a shame Never mind. What I might do is um, do something on this little bottom bit here, but we've got one butterfly, all right. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to cut him out with the die cutting machine and I'll come back to you. I've just realised I don't think I had my microphone in for that first part, so apologies. <clears throat> but anyway, here we go. We've, we've die cut our butterfly. I think the antenna are a little bit fragile but if push comes to shove we can chop them off now <coughs> yeah, see I've broken a little bit of it there but I think that's okay I think mean, actually what I could do is just snip that little bit off to match that looks a bit better now doesn't it and um, I'm going to poke a hole now I'm going to try and punch a hole so that I can thread something through it. That there. Now I can't get it out. This is really difficult. You want to, you want to be careful that you don't um, split. Now you see what would have been good is if I'd punch that hole where that little circle was on there but hey ho let's have a little look and see what this is like when we heat set it we're going to shrink it down using our heat gun so apologies for any noise So I quite often like my uh, shrink plastic kind of um, not flat, but if you wanted it flat at this stage, you could flatten it with a, 
acrylic block it is going to be hot so be careful I'm just using my fingers gently while it's warm to um, shape but if I hold that up you can see it does look a little bit like stained glass now those would be okay as earrings I think they're not too big and of course they're very light um, so I think what I'm going to do I'm going to have another go I've got my little tool my little, I have somewhere just brought my little pumpy tool yeah this to have another go and I don't know whether I like these colors now that they're heat set whether they're a bit dark It'd be quite nice in the summer I think so I have got some more shrink plastic that I've cut down I've got two pieces I'm going to make sure they're in the same orientation and I think I'm going to stamp on them first this time I hope you've got a drink because this is a really long video isn't it right just going to stamp this off on here this is a bit of scrap paper that's fine okay so it's hard to see there we go let's just put a magnet there so that should be fine and one inking should be absolutely fine and I think what I'm going to do on this one because I do want this to be kind of like some earrings I'm going to cut the antenna off um, when I've die cut it because it just makes it easier to punch that hole centrally then so that's our first butterfly inked up lovely and then on this shrink plastic um, it does shrink different ways so I'm making sure that I've cut the pieces the same orientation if that makes sense so it will shrink down by the same dimensions pick you up again and then we will do the alcohol ink and I think I might go different this time I might go a little bit of gold and some pinks I've got that magnet in the way there we go I have to say I'm not very good at lining up dies with stamped images but this seemed to work very well because it's quite a big area doing my CPR I need to get one of those hockey pucks right that's lifted off entirely let's hope that we've got our butterfly mm, not brilliant I'm going to get into the same problem again let's pop you back in there and hopefully we should be all right because I haven't moved the stamp me saying about how good this sticky grid is it is but it's not designed to be used with this shrink plastic it is for oh, look I'm gonna have to cut another piece on time <laughs> which is going to be difficult and dangerous now because I don't know whether I'm going to be cutting it in the right orientation but I've got stays on ink there dearie me I'll be back right so I've got two more pieces of um, shrink plastic and my hands are in a right mess I had a little play and um, yeah I've decided I don't like this dark blue so we're going to go paler and I'm going to a little bit of this is shell pink I think 
put some of this on. We'll put a little bit of um, blending solution on just so that everything's got somewhere to move to. And I realised that in the last one um, I had used mixative, not alloy. And I really want to use alloy, so I've got a gold alloy this time. So I'm going to put a bit of blue in this aqua. And remember that when we heat this, everything is going to go a little bit darker. I've got my little going to come back in with a bit more of this shell pink I think building up some layers and I like this for um, moving the ink around and I quite like the kind of colour I'm getting where the aqua and the pink are mixing Who knows what it'll look like when it's uh, heat set. Just going to put a drop of that on, a drop of that on, and then use this to. I have shaken it really well. You have to shake it till you hear that ball rattle like you did on the other one. As I say, it does have a tendency to take over the colour. I'm just going to try and move it a little bit more with some more blending solution. And I might just add a little bit more. I had got this lettuce colour, but I think it's going to be um, too dark. Okay, let's have a little look now. Now I've got a big empty space here, so I think I'm going to come back in with a bit of aqua. And a bit of blending solution. Can you see how that alloy is kind of moving on the surface? Let's see if we can get a bit of that to come down into the aqua. You see it's quite nice and when we've got our butterfly stamped on there I'm feeling like I need a little bit more interest here so let's come back in with a bit of shell pink and then where I've got this kind of concentrated around the edges obviously that's waste so I need to try and encourage this to come down this gold to come down Let's just have a little tiny bit more. Me saying it takes over <laughs> and don't add too much. Oh no, that's lettuce, I don't want that. That could have been a big disaster then. This is already a disaster, isn't it? Let's face it. And you won you were one of the winners of Card Maker of the Year, really? With skills like this. Are you sure? There we go. Oh, it's very gold. Be interesting to see what it's going to be like when it's heat set. Shall we? do the thing if you haven't got one of these you could use a straw but it's harder work and if you're using blending solution you have to be careful because um, yeah it's not good for you I'm gonna leave that there less is more yes indeed so I'm not gonna put you through the pain of seeing me stamp and die cut I'm gonna do that off camera and when I've die cut I'll come back to you I'm gonna also wash my hands it's the next morning now it got a little bit dark to film i haven't got very good lighting um it is a very long video i do apologize i have got a cup of coffee if you're still with me welcome back so um i've die cut and um 
stamped my butterflies and um, yeah this is the second one I'll show you the first one in a minute so I'm just going to heat set this just move this paper out of the way so apologies for the noise This is sometimes a problem. You get bits that stick to each other. But there we go. I'm just gonna give that another little bit of a heat. And while it's still warm, I'm going to Curve it up a little bit so it looks like a butterfly in flight. We'll just let that do its thing. Okay, there we go. Um, that's my heat setting done for now. Now, um, I will confess I had a go with this one and made it into an earring. I've just put a jump ring through and a bead on top it is a little bit big for my taste for an earring but if you like chunky earrings um by all means you could just fix a jump ring through the hole and then thread a um head pin through and then i've just added another bead um, if you wanted your earring to be slightly shorter just thread your head pin through and then the ear hook uh, but i thought these would be nice dangles for journals or um you could thread it onto a card so I'd poke a hole through the card thread some thread through this and just put it through so I'll just show you how I attach a jump ring to this it is very fiddly and as I get older I find I'm less dexterous um, with my with, with fine work so I've got my snub flat nose pliers here and I'm just opening it and then because I've bent this at an angle it's going to be difficult to get this through I mean if you wanted to just add this to a card with glue you could leave the jump ring off but having the jump ring it just gives you a little bit more flexibility in terms of what you can do with it so that's got that through and then taking Around those pliers, you just bring those back in to meet each other. As I say, it's very fiddly, and then squeeze those ends together. Because I've shaped this, it is a little bit tricky. Another cold but bright day today. It looks like we've had a little flurry of snow in the night. Nothing to speak of, but you could see it on the cars. I know some parts of the country have had quite bad snow. Oh, there we go. That will do it for that. And then if you wanted to add, a, oh, just drop that on the floor and I can't see it. If you wanted to add a head pin, there it is, I've got it. Or bear with, bear with. So I'm just going to snip the end off this. and thread it through just making sure that is closed see what i mean about it being fiddly this this video is a disaster from start to finish my husband said you want to do some more tutorials people like more tutorials mm, not this one though eh? <laughs> i wonder how many thumbs down this will get but I think it's good that you see the good and the bad, you know. Lots of people just show everything perfect, don't they? And we all know crafting isn't perfect. We all have our little problems, don't we? Right. There we go. Let's just get that 
it is so fiddly and I'm sorry if you're seeing my head I haven't had a shower yet which is really bad but I'm not going out until later on so I'm gonna have a shower when I finish this and sort my hair out it's my hair it's not that I'm dirty it's just that my hair is all sticking up and I look a real fright I look like um, something out of a mad science experiment <laughs> okay so I'm just gonna thread this through and then make a little loop round. I hope I'm in shot for you. Quite it's a long time since I've done this. I used to do jewelry making all the time. But um, for your crafting, and if you like mixed media and stuff, it's well worth investing in some pliers. You don't need a lot. So you need some flat nose, some round nose, and some cutters. And I've had these a very long time. There used to be a company back in the day, and I'm going back a very long time, going back to the 90s, called Janet Coles Beads. And she was based in Worcester, and uh, she was mail order. I actually went to her premises once um, to pick an order up because I couldn't wait. You, you used to be able to do that, it was before internet online shopping. Yeah, but she, um, I don't know whether it was she retired or what, but... Now, because this one's a bit more shaped, this isn't going to hang quite as nicely as my other one, but there we go. And this is a bit, these beads have got a narrow hole and then I'm just going to snip the excess wire off. And then do another little loop round to close it and then you could hang this off a bulb pin as I say or thread a little bit of cotton thread through it so you have another little dangly there now before we go on and make a card shall we make a card or shall we leave it here oh I don't know what to do now we'll, we'll make a couple of quick simple cards I think but I just want to show you out of off cuts I've made some little bits and pieces so this was a little bit this was the original butterfly and you know actually I think I like this one the best I like the colours of it um, and I think if I was going to be critical about these butterflies these ones here there's too much gold and not enough of the alcohol ink shining through and you can't really see the shell pink at all on this one you can but this one you just get in the aqua so i think with the mixatives and the alloys less is definitely more and then um, these are just like the little bits that i i cut into triangles and i've just you know they'll be little dangly things for something and then this was the bit that i um messed up you see i could i could make something out of that i could make that into a little card yeah i might do that actually yeah we can make that into a really dimensional little card so i said that i've got an idea let's move those out of the way now but don't don't the point is don't waste your little scraps of that shrink plastic because it's quite expensive um the point is now we will make a quick card I wanted to do something with this I'd got an idea for this so I'm gonna make a very quick background with some of these things some of these little doodles and splodges and a little bit of this text maybe so I'm going to just gather some uh, inks now so I've got a couple of inks a mixture of oxide and distress and I'm just going to do my little um, what you call it that's that needs re-inking or I need a new one I haven't got that in oxide so I've got a bit of scattered straw a bit of antique linen and just a little bit of tea dye I just want that will do just a little bit and I'm gonna spray oh it's knocking everything over I'm just gonna a little bit of and let's get some kitchen paper just to block that that is perfect 
just want a little bit of background colour then um, I'm going to take this text off its carrier sheet and I'm going to just bring this in as a bit of scrap to stamp off on so I want a little bit of tea dye I'm just going to take off the excess ink and then just little bits just to give a little hint you see it's not very distinct at all I don't want crisp stamping from that okay that is that then um, come in with this let's put you on a actually no I'm not going to go in with you because you're too much like the speckles and there's one that got a little bit of like doodling on it that I really liked come on stick on there now um, this one it's got just a little bit more definition and I think we will go for let's get a little block now for this and we'll go in with a full grade tea dye for this and we're going to stamp off and rotate and that is going to do me now I'm going to cut this down so that it is square because uh, I'm going to put this on a square card before I do my next little bit So this is probably going to go on a six inch or um, actually I might do it on a five inch card. No, I'm going to do it on a six inch card. So I'm going to cut this down to five and a half. By five and a half. Okay, so that's what we're left with. Bring in my stamps again. And when I saw this, I thought, to me, it looked like something that Tim Holtz paper dolls could sit on. So that's what I'm going for. Will that fit on there? No, I think I need my stamp platform, so just bear with, sorry. <clears throat> okay so i don't think you can quite see but um i've placed the stamp in the stamp platform card is butted actually let's just make sure it is butted right up to the bottom corner there we go and it is stuck down onto that sticky grid i'm going to treat myself to a new bit of sticky grid sticky grid after this and then i'm just placing that um, towards the bottom I've been through my paper dolls and I've chosen this group of men with their little pints of beer look and um, I'm going to raise them up like that so it looks as if they're sitting on this yeah so that's what we're going to do and I don't think I want black um, so I'm going to try gathered twigs and see what we get with gathered twigs oh what have I done with it here it is so this is distress oxide it's not going to give a brilliant impression if you want a really crisp impression you need to use a pigment ink really so I have got Versafine um, Claire in one of the browns but um I don't mind if this isn't completely crisp and it also looks like they're sitting on a wooden bench rather than something else do you know what I mean okay 
can always ink up again. Now I think I'm going to do one more little ink. Uh, there we go. I mean, a lot of it's going to be covered up by the paper dolls anyway. That's better. Okay. Let's take you out. I'm going to just leave you in there for now. And then I just want to add another little touch to this because it is kind of mixed media that we're going for. So I absolutely love this. Uh, it's from Stampendous. Uh, it's called Fantage and it's aged silver embossing enamel and what I like about this it's got little bits of copper and gold so and because we're putting a masculine image on this I think this just takes it to the next level let me get my reverse tweezers now with this you want to heat from underneath so I'm going to make sure my heat gun is warm I'm going to make sure my heat gun is warm. I'm going to pick this up with my reverse tweezers so that I can heat it from underneath. So just bear with, and I'm sorry for the noise. So it hasn't all melted yet. I'm going to just heat the rest of it off camera, but you can see, hopefully, where I had that clump. It's gone really nice. And you get like little splodges of what look like molten metal, which I think is brilliant on a mail card. So I'll just pause you. So I've just taken time to draw around the edge with a ruler and a black sharpie just to add a bit of definition and I can see that there's some little areas where I want just a little bit more interest so I'm coming in with one of the other doodles and uh, ground is not ground espresso gathered twigs I'm just gonna add a little bit more And I think just one there and that will do I've got a 15 centimeter card blank here which I'm just going to glue this on to I use my collal for this but use whatever glue you like because it has been heated excuse my grubby fingers as well so I've been very inky and messy um, yeah because it's been heated it take it, it's a little bit warped you could flatten it under a book but there we go that's roughly central then I've got my paper dolls here that I've chosen just put a, a foam pad on the back and we're just going to have a look and see where we're going to place them so lifting them up so it looks as if they're really sitting on this there we go and then just to finish it off um, a Tim Holtz clipping you could embellish more with some um, enamel dots but as I say it's for a male I think this really 
Oh, Mementos of Lives Lived is quite nice. But there is, I know in here, if I haven't used it already, there's one that says Cast of Characters, Bamboozled. That'd be quite good, wouldn't it? <laughs> um, dum, 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 dum. First step in a journey. Yeah, drinking a pint is the first step in a journey. Friendship. That's quite nice. Let's just make sure that there isn't anything else. So friendship bamboozled or we must all stand together, they said, sitting down. He restoreth my soul. I think I've used a cast of characters out of here. I've got multiple of these. Um, I love them. I absolutely love these Tim Holtz clippings. Orders attended to day or night. Remembrance of things to come. The traveller tree friend. Oh, the brothers. No. Mm. To dreamland. This is our journey. To dream of all the happy days. I think that's what we'll go for because it's kind of non-specific. I don't want to cover that little up so there we go there is our card and i'm going to leave it there because i've been on absolutely ages if you are still here comment brothers and i will send you this card um i would say internationally as well but at the moment there's no post coming in or out of the uk from foreign lands so um yes i will make an envelope for this and send it to anybody in the uk who comments brothers do take care i'll be back very soon bye now